Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Sales Remastered. Today's Monday morning, and some of us are coming out of bed or going into the day like, Ugh, it's Monday. You know, I, I, I get it. I get there, too. And uh, some of us are going to come into the week like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I have this, I have that, I have this, I have this, I have that. And, and, and be eager to get into the moment, eager to get into the groove, know that they have a whole list of things to do and face that kind of that uphill battle, you know, with their head down and, and ready to grind. And you'll notice that only one of the two pockets or one of these two groups are going to win in the long run. They're going to get to a point where they figure it out and what they go through right now is not is is not any longer a challenge because they've they've figured out how to you know get past that 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 battle and that hurdle and so the reason why i bring this up is because this is a common trait you know we'll go into the week like oh man five more days of this right and, and i get it like you go into the groove like you see your sales manager you're like this fucker here we go Watch this motherfucker send me some fucking Excel spreadsheet. I get it. So in order to combat that, in order to actually adapt to that, is you just have to kind of put in the action so that your results speak and keep everyone out of your way, right? The only, the only people who actually get the most freedom, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, but the only people who get the freedom get to leave, come whenever they want take a two-hour lunch it's okay miss a day during the week because they make, they come in on the weekend it's all right why how do they get that flexibility and it's because they they've earned it <laughs> right the problem lies in where where agents who not have not yet earned it are trying to uh, you know act that way as if they they have because they had one shining month or they they were hot for two minutes but the challenge is, is that do you have the discipline to start it and create this engine before you reward yourself now we're actually going to see the market weed through and those that come into the week with that with that attitude of of really wanting to to figure this shit out right like i know that there's a process to create i know that there is a way to create an engine with the support roles that companies provide you with. They provide you with underwriting processing. They provide you with the resources of, of pre-approvals and support, support, right? And marketing and leads. And sometimes we, you know, we forget that that is a opportunity or that's a gift because we don't know any different. We really don't. And so we, we, we kind of look at the situation and take it for granted, right? And we're always thinking that it's greener on the other side or they get magic leads or people got Glengarry leads. At the end of the day, it's sales. As long as you could sell whoever the, the, the service provider be or whatever the name of the brand may be, as long as you have the plug to, to exchange currency for a product or a service and that plug being your lender or your employer, is, is it's up to you. It's up to you on how you gain the feedback. If they're telling you they don't know your brand or they don't know you or they don't know your name or they have, you know, they read bad reviews, it's up to you to overcome that or you can accept it. And so that's what I mean. It's, it's a choice. And so cheers to the people that took the choice to look at the these learning phases as a stepping stone to get to where you want to be. And so if you look at the top producer on your floor, he didn't get there just for fucking taking two hour breaks or taking a week off. This dude, they hustle or this chick, they, she hustled to get to that level and you can get to that level and I think that you are going to get to that level because you're one of the few that take time to well, let's say watch these videos or, or follow influencers that gives you content that you can execute at the end of the day the key word is execute because you have to put it in an action it's good to get the motivation but now that you got the motivation now what right you actually have to put it in action and so I hope to share with you the information that you can also use and, and, and after you you see the results you get addicted to the results but where I'm getting at is 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 we all are going to face that challenge of, of taking on whether it's a week or whether it's you know the next month or the the next day or fuck it that day you know you look at it and you're like oh I don't want to fucking do this I don't want to go through this reframe your mindset and get yourself on that level of of knowing that you 
the, you know, the minute that you want to give up, you got to push yourself. You got to continue pushing yourself. That's when you want to push it even a little harder. And it's, and it's fucking, it's a challenge because it's so easy to put shit off. But if you, if you realize that the opportunity is there and the only people that are going to shine from it are those that invest time to learn it and create an engine from it. And if you have the ability and the discipline and the patience and the, the courage to execute and take action, then you can also gain from it. And so I want nothing but the best for you because you take time, you support, I see your, cha- I see your comments and your requests to learn these, these different ways. And I share it with you because I want you to experience it too. I want you to know that there's an answer. There's not just you know the, the generic sales training that you might be getting from your company or your sales manager. There is a way to figure out a system. And as long as you have the foundation, which you, I would imagine you do if you're an employed loan officer, is that, or, or anyone in sales, you know, as long as you have a, a plug, again, um, to sell a service or create a service, whatever you do, if you're employed or self-employed, it's about, it's about articulating the benefit of, the, of that person with, by using that, that service or that product, right? How it can benefit them and improve their life. And that's that. That's all in itself is just all exchange of value. Just what draws you from to here, what draws you to these videos. It's because I'm giving you value. I'm giving you information that you can use to improve yourself and your perspective. And when you improve your perspective and you improve your mindset, you improve your attitude, the way you look at things, you become better. And when you become better, your sales increases, your confidence increases, your paper increases and and that my, my friend is a reward that you can mimic in any background any industry any you know circumstance any scenario you have the ability to create that as long as you understand how to communicate and bring value that's it all right thanks for hearing my rant and i'll see you on the next video bye